Okay, I've taken the the goblet, just state left it onto the off to the scroll chuck, remounted the mounted a off center tool and screwed the scroll chuck back onto it. I've moved the count the the cross screw about six turns, bringing this off center. You have to keep in mind that the distance that you take it off center can't be more than the thickness of the wood or else when you start turning your and putting your your off center uh, pieces in the middle you're going to run out of wood your your little crankshaft pieces per se will be out in the air somewhere because there's not anything to support it so you have to keep in mind how far you pull it off center depends on how big you want the stem to be so all right we'll lock everything down Turn the machine on slow. Make sure you always start on slow. If not, you're liable to just shake everything apart. And then come up slowly until you get to a nice smooth point. Okay, for this demonstration, I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to use a parting tool to come in and make the different segments on the stem and show how to move it each time to get it so that you can get the, the, the spiral effect on the stair step stem. Watch your shadows when you come across. You'll know that when you run out of shadow, then you've down to solid wood. Remove your shadows. Okay, here's the first step. Now what we'll come back with the skew and or a gouge and remove a little bit of this wood to just make it so it flows and blends in. Okay. When we come back on center to part to part, the, uh, to part it off, we can come back and clean this up a little bit more and make it so that it flows better into it. Okay, now the next step is if you have any sanding to do for this step, then you want to do it now instead of later because you, it's very difficult to come back to that point. Okay. Now the next step is to move to our next our next segment. Zero on the machine is here on the off-center tool. So you want to make a mark here on your waste part to coincide with the zero on the on here. Now if you want to you can you can do it 120 degrees apart, you can do it 90 degrees apart however you want to do it. We're going to try this one on 90 degrees apart. So I've got a little tool I made up that's got a magnet on it and a piece of copper wire and I want to go to the 90 degree mark which is right here. So I put that there and this comes out. You can make this however long you want it and bend it to, to shape and it gives you a representation of where you are so it's easier to eyeball it from one point to another. Loosen it. Rotate this mark 
so it's around to the 90 degree mark. And then tighten your jaws back down on your chuck. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove our magnet and then the next one you do will be offset to this center point over here. So we're going to take our parting tool again and do it the easy way. Take a gouge and clean that material up a little bit. When you start looking at it, you see that there's a shadow in here that shows you where the where your round spot is for the one previously. So you bring it down to that real easy and then just kind of curve it off to the side or whatever you want to do. Okay, here's your first one, and now here's your second one. This is the material we just removed down to this segment here. So now we want to loosen the jaws, move it another 90 degrees, and do the same thing over again. <laughs> 